do some math for fun. Here we'll be integrating e to the tangent x. Of course, we'll start with a classic u substitution. I will let u equal to tangent x. And perhaps we can also say x is the same as saying inverse tangent of u. And then differentiate this real quick. dx is the same as saying 1 over u squared plus 1. Let me put it down this way. And then du. And now, of course, we'll take this integral to the u world. So as we can see, this right here is going to be the integral, and we have e, and the tangent x is what? Just the u. Good. And the dx is just all that, so I'll just put that down, namely 1 over u squared plus 1 du. <sighs> we didn't make the integral any easier at all. I'm sorry, but it's okay, we can still do this, right? Check this out. Here is the deal. In fact, we will actually do partial fraction on this guy. Don't let e to the u bother you. However, we cannot put e to the u to the front of the integral. We will just have to leave it like this, and then just focus on this part and then break into two, two fractions, right? Okay, so here we have integral, and I'll just leave it as e to the u like this. And let's see, how can we break this apart? Well, we have to factor u squared plus 1. Here is the time we have to use the complex number. So factor this, we get u minus i times u plus i, right? And now, here is the deal. We are going to get some constant divided by u minus i, and then add it with the other constant over u plus i, like this, right? To figure this out, what we are going to do is just cover this up. And how can we make u minus i equal to 0? u has to be i, and then we put i right here. So we will get 1 over i plus i, namely 1 over 2i, and that will be right here, 1 over 2i. And then, to figure this right here, we will have to cover this, the same denominator, and ask ourselves, how can we make u plus i equal to 0? Well, u has to be negative i, and then put negative i right here. So we get 1 over negative i minus i, namely negative 1 over 2i, like that. And don't worry, I still remember the du right here. Okay, now, first of all, we see that both of them have the 1 over 2i. Perhaps we'll just factor that, and that's just a constant multiple, so we can put that all the way in the front of the integral sign, 1 over 2i. And I am just going to be staying on the bottom right here for today, for now. <laughs> anyway, we still have the integral right here, and now here's the du. Of course, I will actually just distribute this right here. That's okay, of course, right? So, for the first part, we'll just get e to the u over u minus i. And then for the second one, this is negative, that's positive, so we have negative right here. And then again, this right here is out already. So we have this times that, which is e to the u over u plus i, like this. Very nice. And of course, we have the du at the end. Now, here is the du. Let me just put down a note right here. Well, whenever we're integrating e to some variable, and then we just put on t, and then over t, and then we have dt. This right here, we can use a special function to answer it, namely ei, this is the exponential integral function, and the input right here is t, like this. So, if we're willing to take this for the answer for this kind of integral, then we can finish this question right here nicely. Check this out. Here we have e to the u over u minus i. Would it be so nice if this right here is also u minus i? Hmm. Because, of course, we can just let t equal to u minus i, and this is so nice. Let me actually write down t1, because I will have to do a similar thing right here. Let t1 equal to u minus i. And then, differentiate both sides. You see, dt1 is equal to du. So nice. So, this is like t, that's like t, right? But the problem is that, of course, I cannot just put down a minus i right here out of nowhere. It's okay, because let me just multiply by e to the i. That this right here, it's really okay. Of course, when we multiply this and that, we add the exponents. i minus i is 0, so we just get e to the u back. So it's the same thing. And we'll do the same thing right here. This is u plus i, so on the top right here, I will have to match it, and then I will do e to the negative i. And this is so wonderful, right? Then we do t2 equals u plus i, and then dt2 is the same as du. So still legit. 
Now we can continue. Here is the deal. As we can see, we still have the 1 over 2i all the way in the front. So that's good. So let me just put that down, 1 over 2i. And let me put down a parenthesis for the result of the integration. For this part, e to the i is just a constant multiple, so we will just put that down first. Let me write it down, e to the i. And then, for this part, letting t1 equal to this, so we'll just be saying the answer to that is ei of t1, namely just this, right? So I will just put down ei of this, u minus i. Very nice. And similarly, we'll do the same thing right here. Minus is the minus, and this is still that, e to the negative i, and this is ei Again, this is the exponential integral, and this is e to the negative i. This i is not the complex number, it's not forever, okay, just the name. Anyway, this right here is with u plus i inside. Very nice. Okay, now, of course, we have to look at what u is. Of course, that's tangent x, and now we can just put that back, and that's pretty much it. Hmm, I don't like to be on the bottom anymore. So, let me just multiply this right here by i, and this right here by i, i times i is negative 1, so all in all, here we will have negative i over 2. And then we just write down the rest. Let me just keep that all the way in the front. Here we have e to the i, and this is the exponential integral function. u is the tangent x, so let me just put that back here. And then we have the minus i, and then minus, this is e to the negative i, and this is the exponential integral function. And the u is tangent x. And here we have that plus i. Whoa. Then so this is not elementary, but still don't forget the plus c. This right here is it. Very, 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 very cool. Right? So this is the integral for the two people who ask me how to integrate e to the tangent x. I don't know if you just make that up, but it's certainly very interesting. And to be honest with you, yes, I use Wolfgang Alpha to check the answer.